The senator has apologized, right? And we should move on. Well, let's look back a bit because there seems to have been a trend with uh, some of our leaders, especially those who have given some promise of hope of change uh, for the trends that we have witnessed in the history of our nation. So let's revisit, as the president has said once uh, before, and when President Huru Kenyatta's administration came under fire for appointing 91-year-old Moody Awori to the Sports, Arts and Social Development Fund Board, his defense was that the younger generation had proven itself untrustworthy. Again, when former Odaya Member of Parliament Meri Wamboi was appointed chair of the National Employment Authority, the chorus was once again, where are the jobs for the youth? A chorus that was led by none other than Nairobi Senator Johnson Sakaja. But given he showed on Friday that he can't even be trusted to abide by a simple curfew, has he made the case for the old guard? Olive Burroughs finds out. I'm being criticized. I could see yesterday Uko, that I'm appointing a 91-year-old to, to look after the youth sports fund. Again, uh, Jameni, let me put you, you put yourself in my shoes. Ukiona vila watu wanaiba pesa. Alamu tuseme, tupatie kijana, mimi afadhali nikaya na uyo mzee bana achunge hiyo pesa, itumike vile inatakikana. They were comments that even his former party chairman, Johnson Sakaja, was not in agreement with, especially when President Kenyatta's administration appointed Mary Wamboy to chair the National Employment Authority. So it cannot be that young people are only important during campaigns, and then when it comes to all these positions, then we say that they don't, they don't qualify or they, have, you know, they, they don't have the right character, they don't have experience. I think that, that uh, should, should, should not be accepted or tolerated for one more day by the young people of this country. That was pre the Seraph Ladies Lounge debacle when he was a shining example of what leaders of tomorrow could accomplish given a chance. In the human breast, hope springs eternal. And with their ballot, Kenyans have taken a chance on youthful optimism. But what the likes of Babu Owino, who shot an unarmed DJ Evolve, Jagwa, who has twice been arrested on incitement charges, and now Sakaja have demonstrated, is that you can change the players, but the game remains the same. We must appreciate that these young MPs originate from somewhere. And uh, as old adage goes, an apple doesn't fall too far from its tree. The same society from which the old generation emanated, the same society that condones and celebrates wrong ethics, wrong governance systems, is the same society that has said these young MPs. A truth captured in Luke chapter 6 verses 43 through to 45. For a good tree bringeth not forth corrupt fruit, neither doth a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. For every tree is known by his own fruit. That's the King James Version. And I'm sure if you sat down Honorable Jichopevu, he'll tell you that my brother, I had to survive. And in politics in this country, for you to survive, you have to align yourself with a particular tribal warlord. This concept that the young people present the best opportunity to change this country was overrated, in my view. Again, the system is at play. Today, every politician aspires to amassing wealth because wealth becomes a status symbol and a source through which you can control people. And so, any young politician who comes into the system must aspire to that. Kusema na kutenda, sio? We thought it is kusema na kutenda as we speak and act. No, we kusema and to do tenders. But before you start casting stones, remember, he who lives in a glass house should not throw stones. Our own society has been conditioned to accept wealth and power. People who exhibit wealth, who manifest wealth, regardless of how the wealth was obtained. Those are details. Our people are not interested on how that money came into position. Olive Barrows, NTV.